What's up guys, I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while since I've made one. I've just been busy with school and other things. But today, uh, I'm making this video because I recently purchased a cork board, like one of the big ones that you can hang stuff on. And I figured, you know, I, I got all these uh, scout patches because I am a boy scout and I have them all laid out on this. And I was thinking, what better time than now, while I have them all laid out, to just go ahead and show them to you guys. So... You know, it might be something someone somewhere will find interesting. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get right into this. So I'm going to start off by showing you guys the cork board itself. So these are all of the patches that I have laid out on this. I have a few more on my uniform, obviously, because I am still in Scouts. And I also have this one down here. So starting off right now, we do have this one down here. Some of these were given to me, some of these were earned. Uh, this one is the Old School Boy Scouts of America logo. Uh, I chose to place this where it is, away from the other patches, because I feel it deserves its own spot. I mean, it is the the patch of the Boy Scouts, but that's all it looks like. It's just a standard one. Um, so I'm going to move upwards. Uh, I have these patches right here. I know they were worn on an old uniform. Uh, so I have two from Havelock, North Carolina, and then three NC Divisional patches right there. And those were given to me by um, a fellow who was in Scouts during the 60s. He lived in Havelock, and that's where his troop was. So a lot of the older patches in here were from him. And then this is the Junior Leader Award that was worn on the uh, uniform. All right, moving upwards, we have these five right here. This is Scout, Tenderfoot, Second Class, First Class, and Star. I am a Life Scout currently working on my Eagle. Uh, so these five were my badges as I earned them. And then these right here were um, the man who gave me all his scouting stuff. These were his as he earned them. Uh, so we have three Tenderfoots there, there, and there. Uh, this one's notably older. He said he wore that one on his uniform. And then these two were gifts. Um, this is a Second Class patch right here, one of the old school kind that when they were still square. Uh, the Bugler Award, and I believe this is for a patrol leader, this uh, one green stripe right there. So that's those. Moving across, we have a uh, Okanichi Lodge Weeblows Weekend patch. I didn't participate in this. I traded for the patch simply because I love the way it looks. Uh, it's a very interesting patch. It does have a uh, loop up here that it can strap onto a pocket with. We have an old school district Campery one. I don't know where that was from or where the campery was held, but that was also given to me with the old scout patches. Uh, two Paul Bunyan awards, one the older version, one the newer one. I didn't earn either of these. Uh, these were also given to me by the, uh, by the man who was in the, who was in scouts when he was a kid. Uh, Friendship Valley Airport, this was, or Friendship Sugar Valley Airport, this was a camping trip that I took out there back when I was still in Cub Scouts. Uh, so that was a lot of fun, but this was the patch I received for that. Uh, this was Spring Fellowship 2017 at COC Sigali Lodge. That's the lodge that I'm currently in, so a lot of these patches that are here will be from that lodge. Um, this is for participating in the Frogs program at Camp Cherokee, Cherokee Scout Reservation. Um, this is just a little button that I have. It's not actually a patch, if you can see that right there. Um, that's just advertising where Conclave is going to be held, and the lodge going to be holding it, and the year. Next up, oops, let me just move real quick. Next up, we have the Winston-Salem Dash Scout Day. That was also another Cub Scout trip, where they let the scouts go out there and camp on the field. It was a great time. Moving up, a cake decorating patch, also from Cub Scouts. I won the competition there, so I got the patch. Uh, just a standard Pinewood Derby racer, I believe, yeah, it says on the patch, 2011. Uh, this is just a uniform patch that Cub Scouts wear that I, I did have this one on my uniform. Um, but I believe it has the three gold arrows that go there, there, and there. Um, I did earn all three of those. I do have the Super Achiever. Um, but all three of those go on there. Moving down, we have the Heart of America... Uh, Council Missouri flap here. Um, so this is a really nice patch. It's got it's a bit old and worn out, if you can see there. Um, not quite as old as, of course, some of these are, but um, it's in Kansas, Missouri area. It has the nice little heart of America. I guess that's like the heart of the bald eagle part of America. So that's that right there. 
Um, this one is an early bird patch for registering for Cherokee Scout Reservation. That's a really nice patch. There's a little dodo on the front. I think that's what that is. Um, another Okanichi Lodge patch that was given to me. Don't really know a whole lot about this one. This was, uh, 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 this was, I believe this was given to me at Conclave. Someone just straight up didn't want it. Um, so I said I'd take it. Uh, this was actually from this past year at Camp Daniel Boone. Uh, this is... Yeah, that was fun. I went there. I attended that summer camp. Uh, I didn't trade or anything for this patch. I just received it for attending. Moving on, we have OA Conclave this year, SR7B. This was a really fun time. Uh, I really enjoy the patch that's here. Um, I did receive a neckerchief as well with this, but this is a really nice one. It has the... Um, has the flames around the top here, and then the six lodges, 70, 104, 331, 298, 117, and 118. Uh, those are all lodges in our section that all participated in this conclave. Alright, uh, moving upwards, we have a slightly, not really slightly, uh, very much more worn out district campery patch. Um, this was at one point the same as this, this one right here. Um, but they are, they are the same patch, just this one is slightly older and worn out than this one right here. Alright, moving left, we have these two, uh, these were Boys Life uh, Participation Awards, I believe, uh, for submitting to the Space and Rocket Center. Um, so I earned that both years it was available. Moving upwards, we have a flat or a council patch for Conquistador Council in New Mexico. Uh, these are really common where I am getting these patches, so it wasn't too hard for me to come across this one. Uh, but I really do like the colors of this one, and the Conquistador himself on the side there next to the scout looks uh, looks nice. Next we have uh, COC Sigali 70, Red Tail Fall Gathering 2014. I wasn't present for this, I did trade for this patch, but I do enjoy the way it looks, and together the red and the yellow, both of them do look nice. Um... I do like this patch with the arrow behind the red-tailed hawk. That does look uh, quite nice. Moving on, we have a Cherry Point Havelock District. I don't know what this patch is. It was given to me in that lot of patches. And uh, moving to the immediate right of that one, East Carolina Council, which is where the man who gave me all the older patches, that's where he was from. Uh, so that's in Jacksonville, North Carolina, Campery. You can see there on the date there, that is from 1963. Uh, so this is the really old patch. It has a, I believe that's a Marine Corps logo on the right and the scouting logo on the left there. And then a little uh, target or heart or something in the middle. I don't know, it's old and difficult to tell. Um, Fall Fellowship 2016, COC Sigali 70. I did attend this. It was a great uh, Fall Fellowship. I believe it was my first one. So uh, I really do enjoy having this patch. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, moving to the left here, we have a Quality Unit 2003 award. This was given to me by my troop, not for any particular reason, and not that I earned it or anything. Um, they just gave it to me because that's my birth year. Um, so they're saying, like, wow, you're a Quality Unit right here. Ah. Uh, so it's a little bit of a joke. Um, we have this back patch that's really huge. I mean, this is my hand, and it, you know, doesn't cover it completely. Um, so that's an Order of the Arrow patch right there. There's the Red-Tailed Hawk and the... Lodge 70 logo sewn in right there. Uh, two years of attending Cherokee Scout Reservation. Obviously, I've attended it more than that. Uh, I did go to it as a CIT in 2017, but did not receive a patch because of that. Um, but this is in 2016 and 2015 when I went. The patches are pretty similar. Um, moving on, two more Cherokee Scout Reservation camper patches. Uh, this was from a year that I went, and this was one that I found on the ground. Not entirely sure what year that's from. Uh, East Carolina Council Campery, Nash District, uh, something else I can't read from 1959. This one is authentic. It was given to me, you know, by the same man I've been mentioning the whole time. A Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies, Survive Sleeping with the Sharks, where they'll let you go out there and they have one of the glass shark tunnels that you can sleep in the bottom of. Um, so they were gracious to let the scouts out there and we got patches for it. It was a good night. Uh, moving on, blasting into our second century. Uh, I did. I was unable to attend this. This was uh, shortly before I had joined the OA. But this is a really nice patch. It's pretty large, probably about three or four inches um, compared to some of the other circular patches. So that's a nice one. 
uh, Scout Camp, East Carolina Council. This is a very old patch. Don't know where it's from, but it's in really nice condition. I don't think it was ever placed on a uniform. Um, so that's that one right there. Moving on, we have a Woodfield Scout Preservation patch right here. Not much to say about this one. I did attend this. And then this is my second year patch from when I attended in Weebelows 2. Uh, I remember that one. It was very fun. I had like four ticks. It was a great time. A uh, STEM Merit Badge College patch. This was from 2015. I attended, I think I earned Chemistry Merit Badge there. Uh, that is the Old North State Council in the top right. And then the STEM Merit Badge College on the bottom there. Um, my four Project Popcorn patches. I have sold popcorn pretty much every year I was in Cub Scouts. So I got one each one of those years. You can look at those there. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on those because they're pretty boring. Um, this pin I was given at a scouting event, they said it did have something to do with scouting. I'm not entirely sure what it was for, um, but that's what that's for. Um, some OA patches. Focus that real quick. Uh, a couple OA patches. There's the same one on either side there, the 100 Years of Service one, and then the Centuries of Service one that does go on the sash right in between those. Uh, I wasn't present for that event. Uh, I was not in the OA at that time. So I was unable to earn this patch, and I'm not allowed to put it on my sash now, but uh, I do have one because it was given to me. Alright, up here we do have my Ordeal OA sash. I'm Brotherhood right now, so I don't need that anymore, so I put that on here. Moving on to Lodge Flaps. We have a COC Sigali Conclave one. I traded for this because I enjoy the look of the police car. Um, it just looks very cool. It's got the WWW on the top there, 911. GOT70, a couple cool things. Uh, moving on, we have this set from uh, actually being in the COT Lodge during Conclave 2017. There was a Richard Petty theme. Uh, I'm not entirely certain on the reason why, but this one is a black border and has the our red-tailed hawk, you know, dressed up like him. Uh, it also has this nice little race car to the side there, and then COT above that. And then right here, it's essentially the same patch, but missing the Richard Petty bird, which kind of makes the whole patch good. Uh, but this one is still very nice. I do enjoy the way this one looks. Moving down, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this. Um, I did trade for this patch, not for any specific reason, uh, other than I like the way it looks. Um, I like the man in the top left, and the way the person in the bottom right is drawn, the Indian figure, um, reminded me of a character from Family Guy. Um, so I made sure to pick that one up. Uh, this was actually given to me at our OA Dirty Santa. Uh, so this is a Welcome to Hooters patch, and it is a lodge flap. I don't think it can be worn on a uniform. Um, you can see on the bottom there it's not approved. But it is a nice looking patch regardless, and it's a good conversation piece. Uh, we have the same police patch as from up here earlier. And then moving down, we have this uh, Solly 104 Lodge patch from Camp Daniel Boone. This is when I attended this year. I'm not in that lodge, but I did enjoy the look of this patch with the red, white, and blue. It's got a lot going on and a lot of bright colors that make it interesting to me. Uh, so I made sure to pick that one up as well because I do like it. Alright, I'm going to step across right here to the other side. We can go over some of the last patches I haven't so far. Um, we have almost the complete set, the four of these... Uh, right here, that were from the 2013 National Jamboree from the Old North State Council. So we have Kiawe with the nice buffalo. That's actually the name of the OA chapter I'm in, so that one is uh, nice. Uh, Saponi with the two little uh, huts or lodges right there. Uh, Sisipaha with the river and the trees and everything there. And Okanichi, lo uh, yeah, Okanichi with the hut on the left there is similar to the Saponi one. So that's the four of those. I believe there were five, uh, five of these in total, and then one uh, Pentagon that they kind of sat around. So I would love to finish getting that set at some point. All right, moving on, I have a bunch of the 20, 2010 National Scout Jamboree unit number patches. Um, these were in just a grab bag. Um, and then two of the 2013 Summit Betchel ones. Um, and then two, two troop number patches right here, so there's 562 and 504, those were the two troops that the um, gentleman that gave me these patches from earlier was in. Uh, my troop currently is 575, so uh, I, obviously the number 
uh, slips for mine are on my uniform, so I can't take that off. Um, but these two were old. All right, and then moving on, this lastly, to the circular patches that I have. A lot of these are old and were given to me, but I'm going to go over them in no particular order. Um, we blow Super Achiever patch. I did earn this one myself. It's for getting all 20 of the pins. Not sure what kind they are, but... Um, uh, Duty to God at Cherokee Scout Reservation. I'm not entirely sure why I earned this. I don't remember doing it, um, but I have it. Um, two, two patches from Patriot's Point. Uh, that was when... Uh, I think that was the USS Yorktown we visited in 2011 with the Cub Scouts. Um, one East Carolina Council Camporee from 1962. Uh, so that's a pretty nice looking patch right there. It has the red and yellow to match uh, those two patches from earlier. Uh, Fellowship Citizenship at Havelock. Um, I like this one. It's got the compass with the handshake and the fire in the middle. Looks very nice. Uh, I've already covered this patch earlier. It was up here. Uh, this is just a duplicate that I have. Uh, District Campery patch. This one's very nice. It gives that old scouty feel. Uh, I'm not sure the date on this one, but it does have you know the green and red in the tents. It looks very uh, looks very old fashioned. Um, moving on, the uh, funnery. I'm not going to try and pronounce the rest of that from 1959. Uh, this is a very interesting patch. A lot of these are sewn on the edges like this one is. Uh, this one is not, so it is just flat cloth right there as opposed to, uh, you know, stitch right there. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that one's a little bit older than these. Uh, Camp Charles, this one's nice. It's got that little deer head up in front of the Scout logo up there. Um, another East Carolina Scout Camp. This one is similar to this one. I think it's the same design, just slightly different. Um, Onslow District 1963 Aquarie. This is actually my favorite patch that I own, just because of the seahorse and the white and the black. It looks... I really enjoy the look of this patch. It's a very ocean-themed one, um, and as some of you may know, that's like my passion in life, is to do something ocean-themed, so, you know, any chance to get an ocean patch, I'm probably going to trade for it. Uh, this same East Carolina Council patch I covered earlier... Uh, Coastal Carolina Council Camps. I'm not sure where this is from. Once again, this was given to me. Um, but it does have that little South Carolina thing in the middle of the Blue Scout logo with the double C's right there. So that's pretty cool. And then last but not least, we have an old school campery patch. This one's nice. It looks very old school scouty. Um, not entirely certain what he's doing there. He might be doing something with the bow and arrow. I can't quite tell. Um, but I do really enjoy the look of this patch with the yellow and green and the brown. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for scout patches on this board. Um, as I mentioned, I do have a couple on my uniform because I am currently in scouts, um, but I didn't bother bringing that here to demonstrate all of those just because there's no need. So thank you for watching this video. If you stayed through the whole thing, good job. If you didn't, well, you're obviously not watching this at this point. Anyway, though, I hope you enjoyed and make sure to stay tuned for the next video.